Ukraine's low-level conflict, marked by sporadic violence in the east, came under focus in Parliament during plenary. This after Moscow announced a visa ban for 19 MEPs. This is not only disrespect to the European Parliament, but an insult to the EU as a whole. A hefty majority passed a resolution calling for EU unity in the face of Russian aggression and demanding countermeasures against Kremlin propaganda. Putin has to change, that's it. It is right that Russia was excluded from the G7 meeting this week because its politicians and people need to understand that if you break international law, you cannot expect to contribute to international lawmaking. There was support for Moscow from the far right, but more still across the groups for a measured rapprochement when the time is right. Until then, sanctions should remain, says the MEP steering the resolution. Preconditions first, incentives later. We are hearing from Ukraine that there is still flow of weapons, the border is not controlled, so I say that Minsk agreements are not being held. The question now, whether Europe stands firm. That will become clear during a summit of EU heads later in June, before they're due to decide on the sanctions regime.